Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a parametric tower by rotating a series of sections. And as you can see here, we can create this for different rotations. You can also right click and randomize it easily. Uh, another thing you can control is the dimensions. This is going to be the first section dimension, which I'm going to explain the X and Y. And we can also randomize that too by randomizing each of these gene pools. Uh, we can control the offset, which I'm going to explain. We can control the count. And then we have a percentage of extrusion. So we can extrude that based on the amount we want to 100% to 10%, for example. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can make this parametric tower by defining a controllable section. Uh, as you can see here, I can control the shape of this tower by a series of sliders, which I'm going to explain. Uh, we can also create a randomized engine. As you can see here, this is a really uh, good way of creating whatever tower I want with a randomized slider. So this is going to create any generation you want, or maybe you just want to uh, select this one for your project. A good thing is that you can also control each of them one by one. So for example, if this is the maximum rotation you want to create, uh, and you want to stay in this section, but you want to change the rotation, you can change the seed of the rotation only part. So if I create this random generation, you can see that we can create random uh, rotations for that. Or for uh, example, I want to keep this rotation and randomize the sections dimensions so I can play with these dimensions. This is a good way of uh, creating one randomized generation or focusing on each of these parts. Again, maybe I want to keep this section. Uh, if I want to change the section, I can create another slider for the location. So the location is going to change the uh, deformation of the section here. And the most important part is the deformation. So I can make another slider for the deformation, which is going to create the most important a uh, changing type, which is the section of the tower. As you can see here, I can change that. I can switch between uh, degree three or one. Obviously, if I want a polyline, maybe I want to play with the polylines. So if I just go here and uh, if I want to randomize everything, I can create this engine, which is going to be connect uh, connected to all of these. Here you can see that we can create this randomized solution but keep it to polyline we can actually give any section we want to that for example if i want to start designing a new section maybe i want to create that one and use this we can disconnect this section and start with this one you can see that that's going to be controllable too and I can deform it easily, okay? So now the deformation is not going to be changed and it's defined by us, but if we want to change the rotations, we can simply change the rotation here and create different towers, especially if I want to control the minimum maximum rotation. Uh, the dimension is really important because this is going to change the dimension of the sections here. And if I want to make really big dimensions, if I increase that, you can see that's going to make tower really big if I increase that from small to big. Change that. Okay. So we're going to learn this step-by-step step in this Grasshopper tutorial. Let's get started and learn this from scratch.